Hi guys, what's going on? Quick video on strength. I got a message from confused teenagers saying, hey man, uh, I know you don't make a lot of videos on strength because you know you guys know I'm all, I'm all about hypertrophy. Strength is like the bipro, you know, on the side. Um, because I'm not really gonna fucking use it. I just need to be strong enough to be a fucking man. That's all I need. I don't need to be no strong man or bother. But, um, so I don't make a lot of videos on strength, you know, because I don't want to bullshit you guys. I don't just make videos of something that I just read. I want to make videos of stuff that I both read and experienced. But he's asking basic questions because he's confused and he trusts me and he, he, you know, he likes my advice because I, you know, I'm all over the fucking place. Um, and he says, well, I'm confused. There's a lot of information out there and he's very right. There's a lot of information out there on the internet so it's easy to be confused. Uh, so he wants to know what are the basics for strength, right? He already knows the basic like lifting a one to five rep range, long rest periods, compound movements, things like that. But he wants to know like a, a fucking midline because the, the numbers are all over the place. So all I can tell you from experience, because even though I'm only studying hypertrophy, I do also, you know, a lot, a lot of studies that I look at, they're, they're looking at, they, they talk a lot, they talk a lot about strength as well. So there's a lot of overlap. So you look at the, the hundreds and hundreds of studies I read, the two percent of fucking strength that they mentioned fucking added up to like a lot. So I, you know, I, I, I know just a little bit. I know enough about strength. And what I know is that um, basics. It's obviously, yeah, you want to do compound movements, you want to lift in a low rep range, you want to have longer rest periods to, you know, cover your strength. But the most important thing I can tell you about strength training to get stronger fast is recovery. Because not recovery of your muscle, not recovery, you know, of your body. Because your body, I made a video about that, actually recovers pretty fucking fast. Oh, shit. Anyway, your body recovers pretty, pretty, you know, pretty fucking fast. Protein synthesis for your muscle can go from as you know, 24 to 48 hours. If you lift, lift it for a long time, probably less than 24 hours based on the studies. So your muscle, you don't got to really worry about. It's your fucking central nervous system, right? Because what really, really affects your strength is your brain. You know, your, your CNS. If your CNS is not recovered, your strength is gonna suffer, right? I mean, that's a given. So when you're training, you want to give yourself a lot of recovery, a lot of time for your body to recover. And another thing is you don't want to go to failure all the fucking time. I tell people that because going to failure doesn't just go, doesn't it taxes your central nervous system more than it taxes the muscle. You get what I mean? Like, yes, going to failure will break the muscle down further, but it will tax your CNS harder than your muscle. And then you keep doing that over and over again. It's going to take you longer for your CNS to recover. And like I told you, that's been how big you fucking are. If your CNS is not recovered, your strength gains are going to suffer. That's why even bodybuilders, and I'm about strong men, competitors, powerlifters, weightlifters, they know the danger of, of, um, um, taxing out the, the CNS, right? Doesn't matter how much your, your body, you could eat a lot, sleep a lot, right? You know, your muscles gonna recover pretty fast, you know. Your CNS is not the same thing. It could take up to 10, I saw a study where it could take up to 10 days for your CNS to fully recover. Because your CNS, your brain is doing every fucking thing, guys. It's, it's making you lift, it's making you recover, it's making you sleep. When you're sleeping, it's still working. When you're eating, it's working. It's constantly working, unlike your muscles. So the the, the secret to strength is, is the CNS, the ability to recruit uh, uh, um, f uh, more fibers and things like that. That's why. That's why I, I, I tell people a lot. You could be strong as fuck, and I have a lot of muscle mass. In fact, a lot of people that I know bench a lot more than me, probably twice as much as me. But their chest look horrible because you know they're just strong. They know how to recruit their fibers, but they're not necessarily big. That's why you could have these Shaolin monks I was telling you guys about. These guys are incredibly strong, but yet they look like toothpicks, right? So uh, uh, you know, strength is is not just your muscles; it's your CNS. Uh, your muscles obviously fucking help, but. Um, it's your central nervous system. So the way you should train is pretty much train by obviously in the strength rep range, strength rest periods, whatever you know, you know the basics. Watch all the strength channels. But most importantly, the best advice Megan could give you is optimize recovery. Do not fuck around with your CNS. You know, don't don't go to failure on every fucking lift, right? Just always leave something in the tank. That's why these Olympic lifters try not to do the the, the, the negative um, portion of the movement too much. They usually just drop the weight because the negatives is what taxes your CNS even more. So um. Yeah, it doesn't, mean, it doesn't mean you should stay away from it. You know, you, should, you could do them every once in a while to help increase your strength, but don't do them too much. Don't do things that burn you out, right? Burn you out as far as like, you know, oh man, I, you know, I don't feel like working out today. Because it doesn't matter how much you eat, it's hard to recover from, from that state. So that's all I can tell you. Um, exercises, you said you told me that you already know. Respirators, you already know. Training frequency, once again, you could train every day. I mean, Olympic lifters train every fucking day, and you know, they're strength athletes. Just don't go to failure. That's what I tell people. If you're training for strength, especially, don't go to failure all the time, right? Just, you know, you could go to failure, but not all the fucking time. You get what I mean? You gotta find that, that midpoint. Um, and what 
what else? What else? Yeah, I already mentioned exercises, squats, all that bullshit. So there's no the rest I think you know. I forgot, I forgot what else you asked me. But if I forgot something, comment below and I just reply with a comment. Alright, I'm out of here. Also, as far as nutrition, which I forgot to mention is the most important, you wanna make sure you drink a lot of water because hydration plays a big part in strength. Even in like a, a small percentage of dehydration is gonna fuck up your strength gains. So that's been proven. So drink a lot of fucking water. And obviously a lot of strength movements, strength training really attacks your bone density. That's why you get so big also is because of the bone density increase. So you wanna eat obviously a lot of calcium and things like that. You know, things that increase your bone density, strengthens your joints, your bones, you know things like that so that's all i wanted to add uh, as far as nutrition the rest you should already know a lot of protein enough carbs to fuel your workout most strength training requires glycolytic fast twitch fiber so you know you want glycogen stores to be optimum things like that all right i'm out of here hey guys what's going on I'm making here really quick video on how to get big arms bigger arms the best exercises for bigger arms on from a scientific point of view because obviously that's once again i look at both science and science certain things you just can't look at based on anecdotes you can't tell us the best size for biceps for 